Hello, I'm Zardis, and let's play Crusader Kings 3. Welcome back to my uh, Andrew's Obsession game. Uh, this would be episode 2 of my playthrough with this. Uh, what I am doing is we are currently, uh, I think we just finished a war and won this up here. And we're pretty much just waiting for this regency to end. We're going to disband our army though because we need to make money. And we are not doing that when we have raised armies. Uh, we're making a tiny bit of money when we don't have them raised. But really we should be getting a lot more and unfortunately we don't have much of a way to do that. So I mean we're going to just sit and wait that uh, our liege is fighting a war and our council. Let's see here. We could bring him in. He's promoting culture though. I think that would be better long term. We're being uh, raided, kind of. He's up this way, I believe, yeah. Not a big deal. Uh, proposed alliance. Who are you? Fellow vassal. You want to have an alliance and... Uh, let's see here. That's the other guy. Uh, so I will get a 20 opinion on him. Yeah, sure. All right, we've got that. So we have another alliance. That is good. It's good to have alliances because then I feel like if we get stuck in a defensive war, we can bring in more people. And that would be good because then we have a better way of defending ourselves. Ah, and look at that. We got a little bit more holding taxes out of that. So now we're making a bit more money. And in fact, this will be one of those rare times when I increase the speed for. Okay, uh, let's see. You're getting ahead. Both Duchess Adela of Tulo. And I are held in esteem by our liege, King Louis. However, when it comes to handling our, uh, handing out titles, honor, and wealth, one of us will always be first among equals. The upcoming gathering at Paris Castle gives me a chance to ensure that I am the one with the king's favor. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, as a smooth talker, this should be easy. Uh, diplomacy challenge against her. So likely, it's more likely that we will lose that. I will illustrate that God already favors me. So that's a 50-50 chance. Or we vassals should work together, not against each other. For that, we would get, huh, if I could use my mouse properly, a befriending fellow vassals. This character is putting in effort to build relationships with other vassals of their liege. Fellow vassal opinion plus 15. Uh, or I might be able to get a weak hook on the king. We're going to risk going for this. All right. Uh, it worked. So we gained 30 opinion and we have a hook on him, which means we can should be able to modify our feudal contract and lower our taxes. Use a hook. I would like that a lot. Although, or I think that maybe we want to have, if we did this, protected title revocation. So the liege cannot revoke our title. Or we can get guaranteed council rights. This is, I think I want to, I don't think that is worthwhile. I think this would be it. Yeah. We're going to lower our taxes so that we can earn more. Let's go ahead and modify that. Use that weak hook, but now we have a much lower taxes, which is good. And then we can get more out of this. So low taps is, yep. Very good. All right, so that is helpful. Let's go ahead and speed this up again. And your war is going okay. The liege's war. Let's take a look at the council actually. Let's think about this. So the bishop is doing his thing. Um, we could have him fabricate a claim. Otherwise, he's not really doing anything. But I want to use that money to increase. Well, we don't really have a ton of money. Let's 
come in here. And I think we're already doing construction. Oh, no, we already, we finished that. Our pastures are finished. Homesteads, we could upgrade with a little bit more money or we can do a new building. Oh no, we didn't build this. I wanted to build farms and fields. We have just enough to do it now. Let's do that. Okay, and speed up again. Uh, but we were checking on council. The chancellor is working on domestic affairs. I think we can keep that on there. The steward is working on promoting culture. The marshal is organizing levies. No, we're going to have him increase control. Nantes. And the spymaster is disrupting schemes. Very good. What do we have here? Power vat, a full vassal. Demands a spot on the council. Too bad you're not going to get one. You have. You are actually a powerful vassal, though. You have two titles. But. You are very weak. You have like no good scores. So you're going to just not sit on the council. That's too bad for you. Uh, let's check on here. Vassal as though. So that is Count Robert, I believe. Yeah. You want to sit on the council. You are a powerful vassal. You don't really like me all that much. Do this. Uh, whoa, a brewing troublemaker. Well, I have come to expect mischief from my brother Robert. His creativity keeps me on my toes. When it is not a prank, it is a brawl. A disgruntled tutor or grazed knees from an adventure gone wrong. Never a dull moment. You can be rowdy. Yeah, sure. Most of our vassals, or okay, half of the vassals like us. The ones that are related to us don't care for us, which is unfortunate. But not much we can do there. Count Arnault has been pestering me for a long time now. He is vicious, mocking me, and pushing me around. I cannot get him to stop, no matter what I do. You're a vassal of mine, and you want to be my bully? Is that really how you want to play this with me, your liege? I mean, I guess? Sure. What can I do to you? I can't revoke that. Uh, I could try to imprison you, but that would be tyranny. And I don't think we should do that. Oh, my council. He has finished increasing the control there. Oh, that is this one. Let's go and do that elsewhere then. I think we'll just leave it then. That's fine. My bishop doesn't like me, but it's okay. You don't like me already, but I can't really do anything about that. You know what I could do is I could arrange a marriage for you. With someone terrible. Oh, uh, let's see here. Get me an alliance. Oh, no, I can't arrange a marriage for you. That's me. All right, well, that's fine. I'm going to be arranging somebody in your court. That's right. All right. So, let's speed this up. Continue letting time pass. We're eight years old. We're going to have some coffee as we wait. No progress here. Okay, we're going to go to speed five because of the fact that we're so young. Greetings, my implacable liege. I have discovered that Count Alvar's inherited contract obliges him to more than you have collected. Time to write this wrong. Count Alvar's feudal taxes to you are increased. Yes, definitely. Do that. Or I can get a weak hook on him, which I would probably then turn to make his... Uh, levies higher. In fact... No, let's do this. Count Alvar. 
So you are now paying me more tabs. Yeah, high tabs. That's fine. We could get the levy. Yeah, let's do this. We're going to switch that this way. We're going to get high levy contribution instead. I like to have more soldiers. That way I know that we are pretty well uh, stocked and we're not going to get more men at arms because we're already paying quite a bit for them. And I'd like to earn that money up or like get that money higher. That she, or the, here, the barony, that is still under construction. And then we will get more money out of that county. And in the meantime, all right, let's speed this up again. My liege has two wars now. This war, defending against that guy down there, and technically we could join in the war and go help, but that would cost money. We're not gonna do that. Playtime, I was playing with some other children when Arnaught tried to push me over. I'll show you what happens to someone who pushes me. I would be wrathful, would that give me? Minus one diplomacy and plus three marshal. Why are you pushing me? I just want to play with you. I mean, this is a little tempting. So we would get plus two diplomacy. Oh wait, I just thought of a different game. Fickle would give us lower stewardship. Either wrathful. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to be strong in Marshall, and hopefully we'll be able to use that to gain better heirs, too. Or, like, pass that down against my liege. Yeah, that's fine. You guys can do that. I'm going to just kind of sit that one out a little bit. Oh, this ward fell backwards. Mainly because of a peasant uprising which they're doing much better than you would expect. But anyway, speed this up some more. I want to get older. We're nine prisoners died. Oh, the counselor has died. Alvar. Oh, that's too bad. He was a really good marshal. Man. Yeah, near the chancellor, which we don't have chancellor that good. All right, and you're the steward, which, I mean, how much are you gonna cost me? If I recruited you to the court, 10 gold. Okay, so you are going to be the new marshal. And you are going to be the new chancellor. That'll work. Increase control, wait. You are doing that, okay. All right, unpause. Let some time go by. A growing shadow, Count Arnott is such a pain. He has apparently ordered the other children to avoid me and now they all grow quiet whenever I am near. I know it is, I know it is his fault and that the other children must mean nothing by it, but it still stings. He won't leave me alone. I do not know what to do. He is the worst. I gain stress from that. That's really annoying. Especially because he is my vassal. He should be bowing down to me. But that's all right. What have we got here? Another alliance. Okay, Count Raoul of Dijon. Yeah, sure. Okay, you're a fellow vassal. I will ally with you. By the way, I still, I want to know how to change my name. But, oh well. Okay, so we're making progress here. 97%, 98. Crop fields have been constructed. We are making even more money now. Very good. We're going to come in here and get another holding. We're like, pick one out. I think... Walls and towers would be the way to go. Yeah, we'll get a higher fort level. 
That costs 150 gold. That'll be fine. Whoa, uncle imprisoned. Count Conrad, my uncle, has been imprisoned by the other king. Neighboring ruler won war. Okay, that's fine. Continuing. A lot is happening here. And, I mean, a lot is happening, but a little. Like, we're aging, we're age 10. Getting a little bit older, letting time go by. We're not doing a ton right now. Uh, we are not betrothed. Oh, yeah, we can get betrothed. Uh, so we want... I want alliance power, but I also want inheritable traits. Quick, oh, no, you're too old. Uh, we want to filter here. Age difference, five years. Maybe ten. Pretty... Um... I don't know. I'm not a fan of either of those. We're going to wait. We're going to wait and hope that something better comes on, comes along. I want quick or something eh, like a good trait to pass along. Greetings, my liege. I have been hosting your Chancellor Sakaar for several weeks, and he has helped me truly see the splendor of the realm under your rule. I am nothing less than honored to serve as your vassal. Oh, that's great, Count Robert. I'm glad to hear that. How else are my vassals doing? You are starting to like me a lot more, and that's good. You don't really care for me still, and that's okay, because I hate you. You're my bully, I believe. Is that right? Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, you're my bully. Greetings, Duke. Okay, yeah. With French settlement and the installation of a new administration, the people of Nantes have fully embraced French traditions. Excellent. Yeah, that's good. Uh, faiths, cultures, that is all, all the right cultures. So now we can collect taxes, but I'm going to increase the development in our county. That is what I want to work on, because if we come in here to development, and you is, like, this one is only five. Uh, you want me to join you in this war? Uh, okay, you're with me. You're not very strong. And you want to fight this guy, who also is not very strong, but is allied to somebody from Italy. Okay, we can do that. Uh, we're going to slow us down, we're going to raise our armies, and we are going to see the war here. Where is our army? Is this one my- wait, where is my army? Didn't I click raise armies at return to realms mode? There we go. And we're going to go right over here. This is going to go right over here. All right, and Prince Pepin has joined. This should be pretty easy. We have the most here. Budding attraction, I have been told that it is natural to feel a pull towards certain people, that in time I will want to know them intimately. I've been trying to figure out what that all means, but the only progress I've made is realizing that it is only fun to explore this mystery when there are other boys around. Oh, okay. So uh, our character is homosexual, that works is fine. Uh, there's something to keep in mind, and it will be a detriment to our fertility, I believe. Which means, I think I want... How old are we now? 11. So in five years, it should be 25. Uh, we still don't have very many good options here. Uh, but that is only under the inheritable traits. So if we get rid of the inheritable trait, ah, but I want to have a trait. I'm going to go for that. We'll see if anybody better comes up. I don't think they will, but we'll see. Okay, back to realms mode. 
and we are losing money slightly when we're at war. That's fine too. Hopefully this will be a quick war though. We're gonna win the siege. Criminal, while passing through the streets, we came by the pillory. A man was struck there begging for water or any kind of relief from his fate. That criminal shouldn't even dare to look at me. Okay, then I would get arrogant. Prestige would go up, that would be nice. Uh, I will give him some water from the well. I gain compassionate. Or water, I hope this will do the job. Um, I think what we'll do, we'll gain arrogant. I want the prestige. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. Uh, cousin was slain. That's fine. And we have won that siege. We are going to pause here, and that will be it for today. That's it. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time. Take care.